everyone and welcome to the channel. We are going to be working with a 9 by 12 whiteboard today. It is double sided. It doesn't need to be, but it is. And I just have it on a Lazy Susan on top of a piece of plexi with a paper towel. Now what we're going to be using today are these. These are makeup brushes, but they're made out of silicone. I'll put a link below if you're interested in using these makeup brushes. You may never have seen them. You're used to the traditional brush with the actual brush. These are made from silicone, so they work perfect for this application in removing paint from my whiteboard once I get it down. And you will be amazed with the kind of graphics that you can get by using these makeup brushes. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is put down some color. The colors I'm going to be using today are Pyrrhol Red from Liquitex and Master's Touches Violet, which is actually a purple color. I'm going to mix them together. I may add a tad of black to darken them, but essentially it's going to be these two colors on my whiteboard today. I am going to be mixing them with water off to the side. You can also use your pour paint for this. Here are two from Master's Touch that are pre-mixed in similar colors. If you have pour paint handy, you can indeed use this. You will need less water. I am going to keep a water bottle handy. That's what this is right here. If you see me spraying it, I'm going to spray my board liberally, but there is a happy medium to getting too much water and having just enough water. So you have to be really careful or your design will actually fall off apart. You can't have it too wet. I'm also using a one inch soft bristle brush to apply my paint to the board, but I will not be using it to make my design because I'm going to be using my silicone brushes for that today. I'm going to show you how that's done. Now over to the side, I do mix all of my paint. So if you see me going over to the side, I've just got some paint that I keep poured out. You can apply it directly to your board, which I'll do right now. Uh, this is my pure old red and then I'm just going to put some over there. So if I need a little bit more or uh, if I need to mix my colors, then it's over there and ready. I'm also going to put my violet down or my purple and I'm just going to take my brush and begin mixing straight onto the board. This is so easy to do just in a crosshatch pattern. I may have a little bit too much red here. So I'll go back and add some more purple, but I'm just going to go ahead and cover my board. And you can see that it is indeed very watery. It is very fluid. So if you're using fluid paint, you probably will not need much water for this. Uh, you may need a little bit. It just depends on how thick your pour paint is. I think I'm going to go ahead and just darken this up a little bit. Just do it really quickly. I'm mixing straight onto my board. I don't want to bore you to death, so I fast forwarded a little bit so that you don't have to, uh, to watch me mix this color on the board. But here we are. Here's the color that I thought I was going to have. Now sometimes in the process, if your paint sits too long, you will need to reactivate it with water. And that is why I keep my water bottle handy. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz this a little bit just to make sure I have enough water on my board. And then I can begin working with my brush. And you're going to see how this works. This is going to be kind of my warm up design. I'm using a very flat brush here completely made out of silicone and I am just going to use my Lazy Susan and go around in a circle removing the paint. In this kind of painting you are removing paint. You are not painting on but removing. So that is why your background is so important and also the consistency of your background paint is so important. So I'm just going right around in a circle. You can see how my brush is working. So this is the kind of look you're going to get if you go around in a circle. I'm just going to keep going around. Okay, this is nice. I like that. This is going to work for what I have in mind. It makes a really cool pattern in and of itself. This is just the simplest pattern that you can make by just doing strokes around with the Lazy Susan and going right around your board. Now I'm going to just redo this again. Go right around and we'll see what happens. Sometimes you have to experiment a little bit to see how things go. And there we are, right into the center. Okay, there's a lot of uh, square shapes in this. I'm just going to go around again. 
got to get the feel for this brush here as we move on to our more intricate design. Your designs can be as intricate or as simple as you want them to be. This one is very simple. It's almost like the middle of a flower. It's very different than the balloon types. So I'll just let you see this one first before we move on to the actual piece we're doing today. So it can be that simple. Really just a couple of minutes to make this design. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. It's always so sad. I take a picture and I move on from this as we work on to the main event. I am just going to use some water and add a little bit more paint to this until we have our paint back on again. Because you remove most of your paint when you do this. That's what you're doing. That's why I have all these pads laying down here for all of the splashes of paint. Because you lose a lot of paint as you remove it from your workspace. I'm starting the main piece by drawing an X. That's going to allow me to have my center. And it's not going to matter for my overall design that I have an X on my whiteboard. So now that I know where my center is, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put some just plain purple straight from the tube. I need some just nice saturated color. That way the middle of my piece will be slightly different than the rest of my piece. It'll stand out a little bit more. But there won't be a lot of heavy contrast because my background is similar in color. Now I'm going to use my small brush. This is actually a lip brush, believe it or not. And I am going to go right around in a circle using my Lazy Susan to get kind of a flower pattern as I remove the paint. The second time around, I am angling my brush more inward and that is going to give it more of a curl on the outside. So you're seeing how it curls around and then I'm really jabbing in for the third time around which is going to give me the feeling of a ball. And as I angle back out the feeling of a pinwheel. So this is what you end up getting. Now I'm going to take my wide brush. You can see which one I'm using. I think it's a blush brush and I'm going to begin my circle kind of like I did in the piece where I was really trying out my brush. You can see I'm leaving a little bit more paint than I did in my trial and I'm going in, in a spiral. This is my second layer as you see and then I'm just going to move my way in. And in doing so, because this brush has an angle, it's going to give me almost a star shape around my ball. And really, that's it. That's all there is to it. So simple, so quick, and so gratifying. It's an amazing graphic piece with just a couple of colors and a simple whiteboard and makeup brushes. Who knew? Let me know what you think in the comments below. You can do simple, just like the test piece, or you can do intricate, like the main piece. All of them done with silicone makeup brushes. Thanks for watching. Bye now.